So it looked like a black strat, almost completely black, but it just had this little ridge of sun around it. But a friend of mine was selling it, and it was very unique, you know, just the way it looked, and I plugged it in. It was one of those one we met at a music store in Toronto called Capsule Music. And, uh, you know, he brought the guitar and said, you got to play it. So I did, I sat down and played it. And it was one of those experiences where you play, like, a couple things, like, you know, you know, I play a couple things on it, and pretty much everyone in the store said, what is that guitar? Like, it just was, like, immediately everyone kind of looked at it. And my friend Bob was selling it, who's the same friend who hooked me up with my main guitar called Mother. And uh, anyway, I didn't have the, the $5,000 at the time, so he sold to someone else. And it went, you know, went through different countries, went to different owners. And, uh, and then a really good friend of mine from Toronto named Mike Land uh, had bought a 1959 Stratocaster. And he called me up and said, you know, this, this guy is selling a 63 Strat, and it, it really made me think of you. And I said, oh, you know, I'm not in the market right now, because, you know, they're very, they're expensive. And so, a couple weeks later, he called me back and said, I really think you should check this guitar out. And I said, oh, you know, stop teasing me. And he said, here, I'm going to send you a picture. And he didn't know the story. And as soon as I saw the picture, I said, great, it's sold. And so, 10 years after, it came back. And so, it's kind of one of those, one of those cool yeah. so I'm very, very, very grateful that I have this guitar. So now that I've bored everyone to tears, you know, it's like,